everyone today i'm going to show you how to add a custom font in swift ui so first up i'm just going to create my new project i'm just going to give that a product name i'm just going to say that's my custom font tutorial and i am going to specify the interface as swift ui that's important otherwise you'll be using storyboard which is the older way of doing things so a good thing about Swift UI is it's quite declarative and you can sort of see it in the code and it's much easier to sort of see those changes and make them if you're a developer. Um, so what I've done is I've removed part of my um, V stack, which is like a vertical stack of UI components. And I'm just copying in my font right now, which is called moldycheese.ttf. So I think there are only specific types of fonts that are supported. Um, TTF is one of them. You can look up the documentation to see any other types that are supported, but some types won't be supported. Once you've got your custom font, you're going to want to go and head over to your info P list. In your info P list, you can specify that you are importing a custom font. So you're just going to add a line here. And you're going to say that you're importing a custom font effectively. So it says fonts provided by application is the one we want to select here. That's actually going to be an array, um, but we're only going to have one item in our array initially because we're only importing one font. And we need to specify the string, which is the name of that font. So that's just going to be moldy cheese dot ttf. So it's just the file name there. Now inside our text, we can specify what font we're wanting to use. So I go dot font, and then I can specify my custom font by going font dot custom, and then I need to give the name of my font, moldy cheese. And then I'm gonna give it a size as well. We'll just start off with size 20. You can see that that's not actually working at present, that the font just looks like the normal font. And that can be because um, the actual name that you need to use there is if you look at font book and look at your font, um, it needs to be the postscript font identifier. So I'm just going to find it in um, this font book. So there's my font. And if I open up the info for it and look at the identifiers, You can see that postscript name is actually moldy cheese um, reg hyphen regular. And that's how I need to refer to it when I'm specifying it in my font dot custom call. And you can see now that the font's updated and it is my moldy cheese font. You can also do things like change the color of it if you want. For that, you're going to want the foreground color. And I'm just going to make mine green. You can do things like change the size as well where you've specified your custom font. You can see that's nice and big and obvious. Now I'm just going to go ahead and run that on the simulator. So you can see that it does just work on the simulator as well, not just on this preview. And when that loads on up, we can see that we've got my moldy cheese font saying hello world and that's how you use a custom font. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub so please like and subscribe for more content.